Imagine walking through life seemingly at random, when suddenly an event unfolds that appears to be more than mere coincidence. Maybe you're thinking of an old friend, and just at that moment they call you out of the blue. Or perhaps you see a sequence of numbers repeatedly throughout the day, on a clock, on a receipt, on a billboard, until it feels almost uncanny. These are examples of synchronicities, a concept first brought to light by the renowned psychologist Carl Jung, who defined them as meaningful coincidences. But what if these moments are more than just chance? What if synchronicities are the universe's way of guiding you, showing you signs that point toward a deeper meaning in your life? Synchronicities invite us to take a deeper look at the connections between our inner world of thoughts, emotions, and desires, and the external world of experiences. Unlike random occurrences, synchronicities feel purposeful as though reality itself is communicating with us. Jung believed that these events are expressions of the collective unconscious, a vast reservoir of shared human experiences, archetypes, and symbols. He stated, synchronicity reveals the meaningful connections between the subjective and objective worlds. It's the invisible thread that binds your inner world to the outer, serving as a guiding force that brings you closer to your true purpose. In this video, we will delve deep into the mystery of synchronicities, exploring how they shape our lives and challenge the boundaries of our understanding of reality. Drawing on the works of Carl Jung, contemporary researchers, and even pop culture references, we'll uncover the profound significance of these events and explore how we can harness their power to navigate our lives more meaningfully. Carl Jung first introduced the concept of synchronicity in the early 20th century, and his fascination with the phenomenon grew out of his explorations into the human psyche, dreams, and the unconscious mind. For Jung, synchronicities represented more than just coincidences. They were deeply symbolic, pointing toward an underlying order in the universe. In his essay, Synchronicity and a Causal Connecting Principle, 1952, Jung argued that synchronicities transcend the normal rules of cause and effect, occurring in an, a causal manner. This meant that the events in a synchronicity weren't linked by direct causation, but by meaning. To illustrate this, Jung often referred to a famous anecdote involving a patient of his. The patient was describing a dream in which she had been given a golden scarab, a symbol of transformation in ancient Egypt. As she was recounting this dream, Jung heard a tapping on the window. Upon opening it, a beetle, a species remarkably similar to the golden scarab, flew into the room. This synchronicity shocked both Jung and the patient, providing a breakthrough in her treatment. Jung believed that such events were meaningful occurrences that helped bridge the gap between the conscious and the unconscious. Synchronicity is an ever-present reality for those who have eyes to see. Jung famously said. The key to recognizing synchronicities lies in paying attention to the symbols and patterns that appear in our lives, especially when they seem to resonate with our inner state. Jung postulated that these moments offer us glimpses into the hidden order of the universe, one in which time, space, and causality may not operate in the ways we typically expect. Jung's work on synchronicities can be seen as an extension of his theory of the collective unconscious. He proposed that all human beings share an unconscious reservoir filled with archetypes, universal symbols, and patterns of behavior. These archetypes shape our dreams, thoughts, and even our experiences of synchronicities. The collective unconscious is where synchronicities arise, bringing forth meaningful events that reflect our inner psychological states. In modern times, researchers have attempted to examine synchronicities through the lens of science. While it's difficult to quantify or predict such events, many psychologists and scientists are intrigued by the phenomenon. Dr. David Peet, a physicist who explored the intersection between quantum theory and Jungian psychology, suggested that synchronicities might be related to the interconnectedness found in quantum mechanics. Just as particles in quantum systems seem to influence one another instantaneously, synchronicities might arise from a similar interconnectedness in the fabric of reality. 
Pete proposed that the universe operates on a deeper, more holistic level than we realize, where everything is connected. Synchronicities, therefore, are moments where the boundaries between inner and outer worlds dissolve, revealing the underlying unity of existence. When these moments occur, they seem to defy the linear cause and effect principles we rely on, pointing instead to a reality that's much more fluid and dynamic. Furthermore, in the field of psychology, the bader meinhof phenomenon, also known as the frequency illusion, helps to explain why we start noticing patterns and synchronicities once we become aware of them. This cognitive bias occurs when we notice something, like a particular number, and then suddenly begin to see it everywhere. While this doesn't fully explain the phenomenon of synchronicity, it suggests that our minds play an active role in noticing and attracting meaningful patterns in our environment. Synchronicities have captivated the imagination of people for centuries, and it's no surprise that they've made their way into the world of pop culture. From movies to literature, synchronicities are often depicted as the universe's way of nudging characters toward their destiny. One well-known example is in the film The Matrix, 1999, where the concept of synchronicity plays a central role. The protagonist, Neo, encounters a series of seemingly random yet highly symbolic events, like seeing the same black cat twice in a glitch-like manner, that prompt him to question the nature of his reality. These synchronicities lead him to realize that his world is not what it seems, ultimately guiding him on a journey of self-discovery and awakening. In literature, Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist also explores the theme of synchronicity. The protagonist, Santiago, experiences multiple synchronicities along his quest to find his personal legend. These meaningful coincidences guide him to follow the omens of the universe, demonstrating how synchronicities are the universe's language for leading us toward our true path. Coelho writes, when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it, which echoes Jung's belief in the guiding power of synchronicities. Another popular culture reference comes from Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey, which illustrates how mythological heroes often encounter synchronicities as signposts on their path toward fulfilling their destiny. Whether it's meeting a wise mentor at the perfect moment or discovering a hidden ability just when it's needed, Synchronicities in these stories signal that the hero is on the right path. In modern television, the hit series Stranger Things plays with synchronicity in its exploration of parallel universes and the idea that seemingly disconnected events are actually deeply connected. Characters experience moments where their thoughts and actions affect not only their own reality but also the alternate dimension known as the Upside Down. These synchronicities are more than mere chance. They are meaningful links between parallel worlds, reflecting the deeper unity of the cosmos. Synchronicities also play a significant role in the law of attraction, which posits that like attracts like, and that our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs can manifest our desires into reality. When you're in alignment with your desires, you may start noticing synchronicities showing up in your life. These meaningful coincidences act as a confirmation that you are on the right track, a sign from the universe that your energy is attracting the very things you seek. Rhonda Byrne, author of The Secret, explains that when we focus on positive thoughts and emotions, we begin to attract positive experiences. Synchronicities in this framework are seen as indicators of alignment with the universe's frequency. For example, if you've been visualizing financial abundance and suddenly you stumble upon an unexpected job opportunity, that's the universe responding to your intention through synchronicity. Biren emphasizes that the key to manifesting synchronicities lies in maintaining a positive emotional state. She writes, When you feel good, you're in harmony with the universe, and that's when the magic happens. This idea aligns with Jung's theory that synchronicities are born out of the alignment between our inner desires and the outer world. The more aligned you are with your desires, the more frequently synchronicities appear, leading you toward your goals. So how can we cultivate synchronicities in our own lives? The first step is learning to recognize them. 
Often synchronicities are subtle, presenting themselves in the form of symbols, patterns, or meaningful coincidences. Keeping a synchronicity journal is one way to track these events, helping you to identify recurring themes or symbols that may have deeper significance. Next, it's important to remain open and aware of the signs around you. Synchronicities are most likely to occur when you're in a receptive state, allowing yourself to be attuned to the messages of the universe. Jung recommended that people practice active imagination, a technique in which you engage in a dialogue with your unconscious mind through visualization or creative expression. This process helps bring unconscious material to the surface, making you more likely to experience synchronicities. Another way to cultivate synchronicities is through meditation and mindfulness, which can help you tune into the subtle connections between your thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Meditation quiets the mind and allows you to tap into the flow of the universe, making it easier to recognize the signs that are being sent your way. Finally, trust in the process. Synchronicities often come when we are least expecting them, and trying to force them can lead to frustration. Instead, embrace a sense of curiosity and wonder about the world around you. As you do, you may find that the universe responds in kind, sending synchronicities your way as a reminder that you're on the right path. Synchronicities remind us that life is not simply a series of random events, but rather a rich tapestry woven together by unseen forces. They are the universe's way of communicating with us, offering guidance, confirmation, and a sense of connection to something larger than ourselves. Whether you see them as signs from the collective unconscious, manifestations of your desires, or simply moments of cosmic alignment, synchronicities offer a profound sense of meaning and purpose. By learning to recognize and embrace these magical moments, we can tap into the hidden currents of the universe and navigate our lives with greater awareness and intention. As Carl Jung so eloquently put it, the meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. And so it is with synchronicities. When we engage with these meaningful moments, we too are transformed, drawn ever closer to the heart of the mystery that is life.